Hello, I am Seamus Dunhua of Eve University, and this video is about uh, one of the new missions CCP is introducing uh, late April. Uh, today is Friday, April the 24th, 2015. I am on the Singularity Test Server, build 877561. And this is one of the Anomic Base missions. Specifically, it's the new cruiser size Serpentis Burner mission. Um, it involves covering a lot of distance inside a dead space. So, I will talk about my fit uh, as I'm actually doing the mission. I've experimented with a lot of different fits uh, prior to this recording. Uh, finally settled on an Ishtar. Uh, I'll go this way. And I've put out Tech 1 like drones. And you'll notice the Talos rats have stopped shooting at me. That's because these burner Talos rats do not like drones. So I have in my uh, drone bay 25 Tech 1 Warriors. Tech 1s because you just want them to draw fire. You don't actually expect them to do damage, and they are expendable. So that's why you want Tech 1 Light Drones for this rather than Tech 2. The rest of my drone bay is just 10 Berserkers. Of course, I can only use 5 at a time, but the other 5 are spares in case any of the Berserkers that I'm using are destroyed. So the Talos rats really do not like drones. So you can use the drones to signature tank for you uh, and reduce the horrific amounts of damage that you're taking while you're on your way in towards a rat. As for the actual fit, uh, rigs are auxiliary nanopump and nanobot accelerator. That's local armor repairer amount and cycle time. High slots are heavy ion blaster 2s, fit with void. Mid slots are a micro warp drive, three cap rechargers, and a target painter. Low slots are an armor repair, one, two thermic, and one kinetic hardener, and a damage control. And one of the reasons I chose the Ishtar is because it has high inherent uh, kinetic and thermic resistances. All right, I'm actually getting close. I'm gonna orbit this guy at two kilometers. But yeah, my resistance is 93.51% thermal, 93.78% kinetic, which helps my survivability quite a bit, but it's the drones that allow me to get close. So of course this particular Talos can't hit me because I'm orbiting him at 70 mil ratings per second. Way too high for his railguns to smack me around, even if I were battleship size. Which I'm not anymore because I turned off the micro warp drive. And the tank is strong enough uh, to be able to withstand the other burner Talos that's shooting at me. The third Talos is 280 kilometers away at this point. I think I'm outranging his guns. So I only have to tank one Talos. Just making up my mind which way I want to go. Time for the light drones again.
All right, so... While I am covering the distance to the second rat, I've put out the drone, the Tech 1 light drones again to draw fire. But basically, that's the idea, for, that's the, probably the best way to handle this mission of the various ways that I've experimented with so far. I may upload another video in addition to this one uh, with a compendium of the various suboptimal and failed experiments that I've attempted and recorded. Um, if I still have those recordings lying around on my hard drive, but anyway. But yeah, light drones to signature tank for you. Uh, as you can see, it's moderately reliable. That Talos rat is not shooting my drones at the moment, and the other Talos rat is just probably playing too far away to hit, to hit anything. And Tech 2 Berserkers for actually dealing damage. Based on my experiments with a Cerberus, and accounting for the fact that the Cerberus has a 25% uh, bonus to kinetic missile damage, um, it seems that the ta these Talos rats, their armor layer is clearly uh, the strongest layer of the three. So they're armor tanked, obviously, they're Taloses. Um, on the armor layer, the explosive hole is the largest hole, and it's uh, bigger than the kinetic hole by a factor of four to three. So even with the Cerberus's 25% kinetic bonus, Kinetic missiles were doing slightly less damage than uh, explosive missiles. So for the drones, despite the fact that uh, Kaldari drones have a somewhat larger damage modifier, you still want to use Minmitar because that actually attacks the hole, in, uh, the um, resistance hole in question. But yeah, light drones to signature tank for you on your way in, and you want to smack them with explosive damage, and you want to tank uh, kinetic and thermal. Why my berserkers were not attacking, I am not quite sure. Maybe because I was distracted flapping my jaw. Anyway, that's this is the best way I've found to run this mission so far. I've tried a Phantasm, I've tried a Gila, I've tried a Cerberus. I may have tried one other thing that I don't remember anymore. Um, but this is the most optimal way I've found to run this mission. I'm Seamus Dunhu of EVE University. Thank you for watching.